Hey everybody, Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm talking with Tom. We're talking about his 2013 F-150 FX4. Tom's running the Moto Metal MO970s in gloss gray with the gloss black lip. These are 20 by 10s with a negative 24 millimeter offset, making for a very aggressive stance. For tires, he's running the AMP Terrain Pro ATs. These are 33 by 12s, also known as 305 55R20s. And for suspension, he's got the MotoFab 3-inch front leveling kit. What made you choose to go with the setup that you have? So I actually have a 2014 Mustang, and it's actually gray and black. And when I bought my F-150, uh, I wanted to do the opposite. So I bought a black truck, and I wanted to go with more of a gray accents to it. As far as the tires go, I like the aggressive look of the tread pattern. But where it's an all-terrain tire, unlike a mud tire, it rides better. It's not as it's not as loud, and they don't hum down the road as bad. And then as far as suspension goes, I like the look of a lower setting truck with a wider stance. And so I tried to go with a aggressive stance, but yet not so it's so high up in the air to where it's not a feasible truck to not be used to tow things with. Again, for wheels, you're running the Moto Metal Mo 970s in gloss gray with the gloss black lip. These are 20 by 10s with a negative 24 millimeter offset, so these have a very aggressive stance. I know you were talking about the color combination, but what was it that drew you to this wheel? What do you like about it? With the FX4 package that is on the truck, it has it came with gray wheels and gray side steps, the side bars, and I thought the look with the with the factory Ford side steps plus the gloss gray on the wheels would be a great combination that you know have a little bit of a gray accent like i said so that was the reason why i ultimately went with those wheels and then with the outer lip around the you know the outer side of the wheel the little bit of uh, chrome to it too so it threw it it really accented the truck with the black paint and stuff on the, the pickup i thought the color combination of the two would be perfect this is what we would call a very aggressive stance for this wheel because you've got quite a bit of poke coming out from the fenders what made you go with this width again these are 20 by 10s and this offset the negative 24. So i like the 20 inch wheel i didn't want too much wheel too much tire to where it seemed you know undercompensated but i didn't want too much rim so it looked like a rubber band i wanted you know a good in between and after looking on your guys website a different you know a customer build and stuff i decided to go with the, the 20 inch now as far as the width as uh, a 10 inch width i didn't want Something so aggressive where you would have to cut, start cutting fenders and start having to cut, you know, wheel wells. I wanted something that would fit an aggressive stance, but with least amount of uh, trimming, if that makes sense. So let's uh, let's dive into these tires a little bit. So again, you're running the AMP Terrain Pro ATs. These are 33 by 12s or 305 55R20s. The tires I have had on my truck, I'm pushing close to 25,000 miles on them. And they've been absolutely, you know, awesome tires. They ride very well. They handle the road very well. The wider wet and the rain, you know, usually you can have some, you know, a little bit of a drifting issues and stuff like that in bad weather. I really have not had any issues here in Utah. So I am actually very impressed with the tire brand itself. I will be putting them back on my truck after after these ones wear out. Are they quiet? Do you have any issues with noise or bumpiness with them? I do feel like they are a little bit of a harder tire, but I prefer that because I can feel what's on, you know, I can feel the road. They're not really loud. Uh, there's a little bit of, you know, howling just because because of the width of them, but nothing compared to a mud tire. The truck handles very well, even with the wide width of the tire. That they are very smooth at steering. There's no, there's no uh, restriction in the steering. That to me, that they've actually turned out to be very, very good tires. So, how would you compare these then to your stock setup? There was a difference but nothing concerning. But as far as the handling of the pickup and functionality and performance wise, no, I actually really like them. They've done, a, they've done an awesome job. Since you did upsize the wheels and tires, have you noticed any error with the speedometer or odometer? I have, yes. Uh, about three, three to four miles an hour over at 55. I don't know if you if you've corrected it or if you're planning to correct it or anything like that. Do you have any plans to do that? I mean, eventually, maybe. It's really not that concerning to me. So uh, if I ever got the truck tuned or ever did any kind of performance parts, you know, we would put the right tire size into the tune to where the speedometer would read right. Did you notice the truck feeling any more sluggish off the line? Did you notice the difference when you were towing, especially? 
No, it's a pickup. I use it for, you know, what a truck's used for. I use it to, you know, haul stuff. So as far as towing, I didn't feel much of a difference. So again, for suspension, you're running the MotoFab three inch front leveling kit. So this is the spacer style lift for the front only. What made you go with this size of lift kit? When I was on American Trucks website, looking over what you guys had to offer as far as products, the Moto 5 3 inch lift popped up and got reading at it. And I, you know, on your website, it showed, you know, different customer photos. I'm like, hey, this actually looks really good. So then I got them, I looked at them, like, man, these are it. Like, they seem fairly simple for what, you know, what you're doing. And so we threw them on there. And after we got everything buttoned up and done, and they actually turned out really well. The stance, as far as level, looks great. But with the towing aspect of my camper and stuff, my truck does sag a little bit in the back and so i do want to get two inch uh blocks for the rear it's more of a uh aesthetic thing i guess you could say as far as the rear blocks go but depending on how much you tow i i don't think it's necessary to have the blocks for it you have pretty much stock suspension otherwise just with that puck in it did you notice any difference in the ride quality as compared to stock a little bit yes and it's a little bit stiffer and it really don't bother me too bad but any level truck you're gonna feel you know obviously a stiffer suspension a stiffer ride to it so it didn't it never really bothered me as far as the stiffer suspension but even then it's not that bad so when you put these on you didn't have any kind of rubbing or um any fitment issues with them at all i did a little bit i had to cut a little bit of plastic but I didn't cut no metal, no bumper. I think a lot of people, when I put too big of tires on these F-150s, they cut, got to cut, cut that crash bar. And I didn't do any kind of major cutting at all. It was just a little bit of plastic trimming here and there. So as it sits right now, do you have any rubbing? Not at all. Knowing what you know now, having driven the truck and lived with it like this for a little over a year and a half, is there anything that you would do differently? Yes, which I already touched on is would be the rear suspension out of, you know, rear suspension blocks to help with the, the bed to come up. So that would be it. But as far as what I have purchased, no, I'm actually very happy with what I've bought. So other than the blocks for the rear end, do you have any plans for the future? What's, what's next? As far as the look of the truck, I'm very happy with what I have. Next would probably be performance parts, uh, a tune, exhaust intake, you know, eventually maybe a supercharger turbo as far as the looks of the truck no I'm, I'm very happy with the way the truck looks all right well tom thank you so much for talking to me about your truck just to recap for everybody who's watching again tom is driving a 2013 f-150 with the fx4 package for wheels he's got the moto metal mo 970s in gloss gray with the gloss black lip these are a 20 by 10 with a negative 24 millimeter offset making for a very aggressive stance for tires, he's running the AMP Terrain Pro All Terrains. These are 33 by 12s, also known as a 305-55R20. And for suspension, he's got the MotoFab 3-inch front leveling kit. Tom, thank you again so much for being here with me today. I hope you had a good time. Thank you all for watching. And remember, for all things F-150, be sure to keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.